London is my hometown. Everyone's very excited about you coming. What's extraordinary is every American athlete that I've interviewed, when I ask them to cite a role model, I'd say 90% say you. You're like this kind of weird godlike figure to them. With that comes responsibility. Are you aware of the status you have amongst your peer group? And um, what do you feel about that responsibility? Um, I mean, sometimes I feel it, but I mean, I, I like to just think of myself as a normal person who just has a passion, has a goal, and a dream, and goes out and does it. And that's you, really how I've always lived my life. And I've seen, I've seen you say that before, it. but come on, Michael, you're not a normal person. I consider myself normal. I've spent 20 years in the pool. I consider that something that's normal. Just that's not normal. It for, I mean, what do you consider normal? Well, not spending 20 years in a pool. I don't consider... consider I spend about 20 minutes in a pool a day. <laughs> well, that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> what I was struck by with you was there are, there are great athletes and great gymnasts and great swimmers and so on. I don't think I've ever seen anybody who did what you did and, and confirm the statistics on this, that you trained for five years literally every single day, 365 days for each of those five years mm -hmm. consecutively. That is an incredible dedication to your sport. Do you know anybody else that has done that? No. So I've what, never heard of anybody else that does that. What is the motivation at the end of the day for that kind of extreme dedication? I mean, if you want to be the best, you have to do things that other people aren't willing to do. Um, and at that point, you know, we had thought that for every year we get 50 to 52 other days of more training than anybody else gets every single year. And also in swimming, if you miss one day of swimming, it takes you twice as long to get back. So, you know, for example, for me after 2008, I took six months off. It took me, probably took me really about a year and a half to get back to where I was like really needed to be and should be. Who are your sporting idols? Michael Jordan. Why him? He changed the sport of basketball in my eyes. You know, how, how it, you know, on and off the court, the guy, I mean, in my eyes made basketball what it is. Um, and, and, you know, what he Have you did. Met him? I haven't, never met him. Um, what would you ask him if you were able to meet Michael Jordan? I've, you know, I've had that, that thought a lot. Um, What's the thing you're most curious about with him? Um, I mean, I think part of me would ask him about uh, what made him come back to the sport, what made him go to basketball and then decide to come back, or excuse me, baseball, and then decide to come back to, to basketball. Um, you know, I think one of the coolest things that, that I love about him was it didn't matter what he had you know, going on off the court or if he was sick or this or that. He never used it as an excuse. He came out every single night on the court and he did what he had to do to get the job done. And that's what champions do. It doesn't matter what else is going on when you walk into your arena or your whatever you excel at, you're there to take care of the job that you have to do. 